Well, Coach, thanks so much for sitting down with us. We appreciate it. You're kind of the newest guy to officially be part of the staff. So first of all, welcome there. But you come in at an exciting time Definitely. in Liberty's history. Yeah. What has it been like for you? I'm not going to give you all the credit for it, yeah. but you've certainly been a part of it. What has this been like? Yeah, well, you know, it's been a blast for me. Uh, my dream's always been to be an FBS position coach. Yeah. And sure enough, you know, Coach Gill was gracious enough with my time volunteering here to just kind of give me a role as a QC, then to a GA. And sure enough, overnight into a position coach at the FBS. So credit goes to God first, and then obviously Turner Gill for giving me the opportunity. But I've been blessed. It's been a ride, boy. It's been a ride. Everybody talks about the, the, making that jump from FCS to FBS. Yeah. In your role, in a coaching staff role, yeah. how does it change? How does it look different moving up a level to the highest level? Yeah, well, I mean, number one is probably your brand. You know, your national brown. I'm from the West Coast, and to be honest with you, I had never heard of Liberty. The reason why I'm even here is because my wife goes to medical school nice. here. Nice, okay. And so for, for me to go out to the West Coast and recruit, because that's where I recruit uh, a lot now, is people know about us, and you know, we're getting our name out there, and that's just huge. It's definitely brand recognition. And you know what, every player, to be honest with you, when it comes down to apples to apples, most players want to play in the FBS. They don't want to play in the FCS. So definitely that's the biggest transition in terms of us moving FBS to, or FCS to FBS. Obviously, recruiting will take a jump and is taking a jump as you guys have moved up to the highest level. For you, working on the defensive line, yeah. I mean, listen, that is a premier position. Everybody's trying to find those guys along the D-line. Sure. Being the new guy at the FBS level, yeah. what are the challenges? How hard is it to find those guys? And, and what's it been like here, really, during this first recruiting season, I guess, here at the FBS level? Sure, so I think number one is just identify the guys for us that can play, but not only have that ability to play at our level, but have the character to play at that level. So I think for us, as we go out, yeah, are we gonna get a better player? Sure, but I also think we can kind of uh, just be more selective in terms of character. So us being the new guy in the FBS, uh, the thing for us, we just got to get them on campus yeah. because, to be honest with you, once we get them on campus, <laughs> most of the time we don't lose. Yeah. You know, I think yeah. we, this year we're 87 percent on visit to commits. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh. So once we get them yeah. on campus, we can yeah. we can go. So it's just building a relationship with a young man, trying to get them on campus. And once we do that, I think we put ourselves yeah. in best position to win them over. Do you feel like there's been a, maybe a more of a sense of urgency? Not that there wasn't before, but now knowing what this means, look, you look at the schedule and you yeah. say, man. There's no cupcakes here, right? You got to bring it every week. In practice, in the spring, leading up now to the season, do you feel like there's more of an urgency because of this? Sure, yeah, definitely. You know, we're trying to find and identify the right and correct talent. And definitely a sense of urgency. You know, you see Auburn on the schedule. We got to get some guys that can roll. You know, we're in the Kentucky Derby and we got to get the, the yeah. horses to yeah. run it. Um, so definitely, uh, sense of urgency for sure. And then just the amount of uh, resources we're pouring in recruiting now and just trying to identify the best in the country, not just necessarily the best in the area. It's the best town in the country. Liberty has a history of beating FBS teams. I mean, you just did last year against Baylor, but doing it now week in, week out. It's not just one game on the schedule you get really up for. What, is that a mindset thing? Is that something you guys have been preaching? Definitely. Mindset, 100%. Consistency. You know, every single day. You just can't wake up and say, you know what, I'm going to try my best today, man. You got you to gotta fight and fight every single day. So I think consistency is what you try to find at this level. And now that we're moving to play the Baylors, and, you know, we beat the Baylors, but just trying to find that consistency on a week-in and week-out basis because it doesn't get easy. We, we don't have that break. We just don't. And that's good. That's what you want. And that's what most players that are highly driven want. So for sure. It's the marketing campaign this year around this move is, is rise with us. Mm -hmm. When you hear that phrase, when you think about the fan base, the school, the support, kind of what comes to mind? Well, just excitement. You know, everybody's excited about the move. And I think it's all going to take a village. You know, it's not just players, not just coaches, but it's fans, it's support staff, it's athletic staff, academic staff. Everybody's just got to rise up with us. And I think it's going to be exciting times. But, you know, how support is. Support doesn't just come from academics. It comes from fans. It comes from the coaches. It comes from everybody. So, yeah, that's what comes to mind for me. Exciting time. Excited yeah. that you're a part of it. Definitely. Good luck this season. Appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you. All right.